Hey, what is up, you guys? It's your girl Gina Chang back with another YouTube video for you today. We're gonna talk words and all that fun jazzy shit. And as you guys know, you probably clicked on this video for the title down below. Yes, you guys, I'm gonna be telling you about the very first time I got into my very first fist fight. So if you guys wanna hear more about that, stay tuned. All right, you guys, before I jump into this video, I know, I know, I know, I'm gonna stop apologizing because I'm just gonna keep disappearing. There's this little thing called life. I can't control it. Shit happens. You's already expect it from me at this point. But I decided to come back with a bang. Hey. But, and also, I thought these cat ears were gonna look really cute, but apparently you can't really see them against my nice, fancy, fancy new backdrop. Ooh, y'all see that? Yes, you guys, your girl got herself a fucking studio. So honestly, I am hoping to try to come back to YouTube. I do hope that I can start making videos more. The only thing is, my time is limited. I work full time and YouTube has too many requirements and will not pay enough even if I do have the requirements. So I just kind of got to keep my full time job until hopefully this takes off. Alright you guys, I'm going to stop apologizing. Without further ado, I'm going to give y'all what y'all came here for. Let's get out into the story. But okay you guys, this all started when I was about 13, 14 years old. There was this girl, and obviously we need to give her a name for the story. We're gonna name her Bethany. I don't know anybody named Bethany. It's not really close to her name, so... But all right, we're gonna name her Bethany. So me and this girl Bethany, we actually were really, really good friends all throughout our younger years. Like me and her met at quite a young age because her family were friends of our family. There was actually kind of like a little bit of a marriage tie in there, which is the reason why me and her actually became really, really good friends. Me and Bethany, we didn't really live close to each other, so we would only really get to see each other during like holidays, birthday parties, family events, things like that, until we were about 13, 14 years old. Her family ended up moving right across the street from my parents. Side note, there's actually a reason as to why they moved, which we will get into further on in this story. So her parents ended up buying the house right across the street from my parents. They had visited our house, they knew the neighborhood was nice, they liked the houses in the area, so they decided when they moved that our street and the house across the street from us would be perfect. So right after they moved in, me and Bethany, we became like just good friends to best fucking friends. To the point where anytime anybody would ask, we would just tell them we were cousins. Me and Bethany actually went to separate schools, middle schools and high schools. So when she moved across the street, every day after school, I would go over her house or she would come over to my house. During the weekends, I was always spending the night over her house. She actually had brothers that were kind of close to my age and like my siblings' ages. So there was a few times like a couple of us would go over there and spend the night. Like my parents weren't really okay with having the kids run in and out the house. So we would go spend the night over her parents' house. And her mom, she was cool yet immature. Like being a 14 year old, you're like, oh my god, this woman's awesome. But being an adult and looking back at it, you're like, that woman never got out of high school. She needed to grow up. During the weekends, we would do like little kids shit. Like we would play pranks on each other. Like whoever falls asleep first will get shaving cream in their hand and tickled and they'd slap themselves in the face or they get drawn on on the face. And her mom would encourage it. Like she would pull out the video recorder and record us doing this shit. Aside from that, like, you know, we would just do like dumb little kid shit. Like we would make music videos on the camcorder of us like dancing around and singing and being little girls. We would be all over MySpace. Yes, that's how far back we're going. MySpace. Like, we would play stupid games like Truth or Dare and stuff. But eventually, and I think I may have mentioned this in other videos, me and Bethany ended up applying for this thing called Summer Youth. If you don't know what Summer Youth is, it's basically an inner city kid work program for the summer so that it keeps kids off of the street. So basically, they have something to do during the summer instead of running around doing dumb stuff and getting into trouble. It's basically a program to just keep kids off of the street and working during the summer and give them a little bit of cash. So since we live right across the street from each other, when we applied, because the way that the program worked is you apply to their agency and the agency would distribute you out into your district community centers. It was always like a community center or a nonprofit organization 
that they would send the kids to go work for as long as it was in their district. But since we lived right across the street from each other, we figured, you know, hey, we're fucking best friends. Why not apply and go to the same community center? Which is exactly what we did. We ended up applying and we got accepted. I'm not gonna give the name of the community center, but it's basically kind of like a boys and girls club. And what you would do for the work there was simple stuff like maintenance or childcare. Normally, summer youth started right after the fourth. So most of the time when you start summer youth, no matter what community center you're working in, you'll probably be doing the 4th of July cleanup on the first day, which is exactly what me and her did. We ended up having to go around picking up all like the fireworks and garbage and just like things people left around the community center and on the streets. And then we ended up having to clean the community center bus. And this is when I found out a little bit more of the type of person Bethany really was. So we're sitting there and we're joking on the bus. And like I said, normally we would get hired right after the 4th. And her family ended up not coming over to our house for the 4th. There's this little, there's this little back alley right behind my parents' house that's like a dead end street that most years during the 4th of July, the houses that have their backyards connected We'll go back there and they'll light off fireworks and they'll all just party back there. Well, we could see that right from our backyard. So we're sitting there lighting off fireworks. I'd seen her in the alleyway. So while we're cleaning the bus, I asked her, you know, hey, what were you doing for the fourth? Like, why didn't you come over? You, I seen you in the back alley. Oh yeah, we went over to, I gotta give this lady a name. It doesn't even need to be a good name. We'll call her Becky, Becky, because I really don't care about her. She's kind of irrelevant. But she tells me, yeah, I went over to Becky's house. My mom's really good friends with her. And I just chill with all of her kids. And then she proceeds to tell me, Becky has a son. He is an older son. Like he is a grown ass man to us 13, 14 year old little girls. She tells me how this grown ass man also has a pregnant ass girlfriend. She tells me how she thought that he was so cute and that while they were at the party, he went into the bathroom and her little thought 14 year old ass went and followed him into the bathroom while he was going pee. She goes in the bathroom and she starts trying to make out with him and he went for it. He started kissing her back. They're making out for not even like two minutes when all of a sudden she hears boom, boom, boom. It's the crazy baby mama knocking at the bathroom door wondering what the fuck her man doing in there. She tells me that she hopped in the shower and he opens the door and he asks her like, what the hell are you doing? And she starts freaking out saying, I know you got some girl in there. I know you got some girl in there. I know you got some girl in there. And he's like, what are you talking about? He leans back so that she could see in the bathroom, but she can't see in the shower because she got the shower curtain closed. He lets her see past him in the bathroom and then he proceeds to, you know, push her out and tell her, you know, come on, baby, let's go outside, let's go have a good time. After he gets her out, that's when old Bethany's little thought ass ends up sneaking out the bathroom and I don't know, went and joined the rest of the party. I'm not a judgmental person. If you want to go out and hold and spread your legs and do whatever the hell you want to do, like that's you. So when she told me this, I didn't really judge her. I was like, I kind of just started like teasing her and making fun of her because that's the type of relationship we had. Like we would play wrestle. We would call each other names all the freaking time. That's just who I am. If I love you and if I care about you, I'm going to sit there. I'm going to call your name. I'm going to play wrestle. I'm going to beat your ass so you know how much I fucking love your ass. Like that's just the type of relationship me and her had. So I started making fun of her like, oh, ha ha ha, you did this and you did that with him. Like literally just laughing at her. Like I, I did tell her, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I did tell her that it was messed up that he has a girlfriend and he shouldn't have did that and she shouldn't have did that. But aside from that, like we went back to being friends because I know her and I don't know this girl. Me and her just went about joking and playing around. And then she also proceeds to tell me that day how she lost her virginity at the age of 12, but she wanted to lose it at 11. Bitch, I wish my fucking daughter would. I would beat her fucking ass, knock her in the next fucking week. She would be knocked into the next fucking century, I promise you that. I was a virgin. I kind of just made fun of her for it. Like, I didn't really know what to do. Like, I was young-minded. I didn't comprehend sex. I played Barbies. We played pranks on each other. We made music videos. We were on MySpace. I wasn't thinking about sex. I was four fucking teen. So I just, I, I joke around with her about it for the rest of the day. Later that day, after we go home, go take a shower, we get dressed, we end up meeting back up. She's like, you know, I wanna go walk around the neighborhood. Do you wanna go to a walk to the park? Do you wanna go for a walk to the park? Do you want to go for a walk? 
to the park. Is that proper English? So we basically end up meeting up again and she's like, hey, I want to go walk around the neighborhood. Do you want to go for a walk to the park? I'm like, sure. We go to the park and I end up bumping into this friend and we're going to give him a name. We'll name him Jeremy. Just we'll name him Jeremy. So I see Jeremy and he's a long time family friend. He knows my parents. He knows my sister. He grew up going to school with my sisters. He had classes with them and all that. So he sees me with Bethany and he's like, hey, Gina, come here. I got to talk to you okay i go over i'm like yo what's up what's up and he's like you know do you know why why are you why are you chilling with her and i'm like oh that that's my cousin that's my girl why, why and he's like yo um i don't mean to talk bad about your friend or nothing but like i just don't think you need to be chilling with her and i'm like you know well what what's wrong with her like she's she's cool to me she's cool in my book and he basically tells me that he proceeds to tell me that he works for a cleaning agency and they clean schools. And there's this kid that he works with that got caught in the supply closet at one of the schools with Bethany. His pants dropped to his ankles and her on her knees. He's built all the G. He spilled this shit! But me, being the non-judgmental person I am, I'm like, you know, listen, I, I kind of know. I didn't know all that, but I know the type of person she is. Trust me, I'm, I'm not out here doing that. If she wants to do that, she could do what she wants to do, but that's not me. And he tells me, he's like, you know, Gina, I look at you like a little sister. I'm just trying to look out for you. I'm just letting you know. Don't let her be getting you into nothing stupid. Like, I know you're a good girl and I trust you. And, you know, I tell him, I'm like, you know, I appreciate it. Like, thank you for looking out for me. You know me. You know I'm not out here doing nothing like that. Me and him, we hug, we say goodbye. He goes back to playing basketball with his friends. Me and her, we go play at the park for a little bit more and then we walk home. The next day, I can't really remember what we did at work. It was just like a boring day. But I do know after work, she came knocking on my door and asked me, hey Jeannie, you wanna go for a walk to the park? Like, you know, I got my friend, we'll give her friend a name. We'll name her Jesse. She's like, I got Jesse here with me. I had known Jesse from a couple of the sleepovers. So I'm like, okay, okay, give me like five minutes. Let me just go change and everything real fast and we can go for a walk. I go change, my little sister here is and I'm going to the park. She asked if she'd go for the walk with me. I tell her, come on. So we end up heading out to the park. So all four of us, we end up walking to the park. We get up to the park. All four of us, we're just running around the park, playing, calling each other names, being stupid, play wrestling with each other, just like how we've always played. Well, as me and her are playing, there's this kid that I go to school with and he needs a name for the story. We're gonna name him Manny. So me and Manny, we know each other because we go to school together. I'm a freshman, he's a senior. He's actually supposed to be graduated, but he had failed. So he was 18 as a senior. You know, I see him and as normal, being one of my friends, I go up, I'm like, oh, hey, Manny, how you doing? I go over to him and we start talking and that's when Bethany comes over and she's like, hey, Gina, who's your friend? Oh, Bethany, this is Manny. Manny, this is Bethany. Me. <laughs> nice to meet you, how you doing? Hey, what's up? What's going on, girl? How you doing? And these two, they just start talking. So as they're talking, Manny actually has two friends. I don't really know them. They don't go to school with me, but I have as well my little sister and Jess with me. So it's like a group conversation going on. Like we're all meeting. We're all just going back and forth talking, like being friendly with each other. And then all of a sudden, as we're all talking, I just get pulled aside. <laughs> Bethany pulls me aside and she's like, so Gina, um, so could you do me a favor? I'm like, sure, what's up, Bethany? Could you tell Manny that I'm 16? Why? Well, you see, girl, he don't know I'm 14, and since he's 18, he said he's not gonna talk to me unless I'm 16. So I told him he's 16. Can you please, please tell him I'm 16? Please, he's so cute, I really wanna talk to him. Now, me at this time, I did not see a big deal with this because that's Manny, he goes to school with me. He's a kid, just like the rest of us. As an adult, now I see the issue in it. 
if I knew what I know now, I would have not handled the situation this way. I would have walked away, been like, yo, she's 14 and just kept them moving. But at this time, I viewed him as a kid just like us because he went to school with me. He's got to be harmless. He goes to school with us. I see him all the time on a daily basis. So when we go back to the group, he asked me, hey, Gina, um, how, how old is your cousin? I'm like, yo, she, she's 16. He's like, yo, I, I feel like you're lying to me. Are you sure she's not like 14? And I'm like, no, no, she's she's 16. It's okay, she's 16. He's like, oh, okay, all right, that's cool, that's cool. I definitely want to talk to her. She's mad cute. I'm like, okay, cause she she definitely likes you. He's like, all right, I want to talk to her, but yo, I'm about to, how long are you going to be here? Because I want to go and run and get me some bub real fast. Mind you, at this point, I never smoked weed a day in my life. I barely knew what the shit was. I just knew that bud meant weed and weed meant bud. So I'm like, whatever, you do what you want to do. If you want to smoke weed, smoke weed. It doesn't affect me. So he's like, can I run and get some bud? I'll be back in like 10, 15 minutes. I was like, sure, we'll be here. She ain't going nowhere, trust me. But him and his little friends, they end up leaving, going, doing what they got to do. And while they're gone, me and Bethany and Jess and Jewel are all playing. Literally, like, little kids running around the park playing. We're calling each other names. Like, she's like, oh, hi, you're a whore. I'm like, oh, hi, you're a skinny. She's like, you're a slut. And I'm like, you're a hoe. And, like, we were just literally calling each other names back and forth. We're, like, play wrestling. Grappling on each other, like, jumping on each other's back, grabbing each other's hands, like, putting each other in choke holds, like, little ass kid shit. As we're doing this, like, she's still calling me names. Like, Jeannie, you're a slut. Jeannie, you're a slut. And I'm like, that's okay. I'm gonna tell Manny you a hoe. And the second I said that, Guess who comes walking down the street? Manny. I take off. Manny! She a ho! Boom. That's all I felt on this side. That bitch came and ran up and hit me from behind. But I'm gonna tell you this now. She wasn't that strong. She ain't knocked me out. The bitch ain't even knocked me over. Ah. Okay. I go to grab at her. When I grabbed at her, I grabbed her by both of her wrists, just like this. We both had our arms like this. Once I had her hands like this, I start making her hit herself because my dumb ass thinks we're play fighting. I start making her hit herself. I'm pretty sure she tried to kick me, but just because the way that we were angled, she couldn't kick me. But while this is going on and I'm making her hit herself, Jess and my little sister come running over. They're like, stop fighting, stop fighting. I'm like, what are you talking about? We're play fighting. She is pissed. She is fucking livid. She's like, no, fuck that. I'm really trying to fight you. Why would you call me that? This, that, and the fifth. Like, bitch, you just call me a fucking slut, a whore, or this, or that. Like, God forbid I call you a hoe to the boy you just met five minutes ago. So I end up getting pissed the fuck off. And I storm away. I start going home. She ends up running behind me and trying to calm me down, consoling me, telling me how sorry she is. Gina, please. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I was so pissed. I I'm pissed. Like, I was so pissed that I started crying. No, fuck that shit. You're supposed to be my cousin. You're over here trying to fight me over a guy you fucking just met that I introduced you to. Are you fucking kidding me? And as I'm having this rant, even he is saying, yo, y'all should be fighting y'all cousins. Like, I'm not worth it. Like, y'all, y'all family. Y'all don't fight over guys. Thank you. Fucking thank you. For a second, she's like, please, Gina, just come back to the park. Please come talk to me. Like, come on. I just want to, like, I, I want to forget all this. Let's go have fun. We go back to the park, and I can't remember what was said that ticked me off. Or there was definitely something that was said that just, like, sent me over the top. And I was like, no, no. You disrespected me. Like, you're, you're fighting me over a guy that you just met, and you're supposed to be somebody that I've known damn near my entire life. I'm going home like I'm not dealing with it today I'm not dealing with it right now like that's friends don't hit friends friends don't hit friends we learned this in grade school we learned this in fucking kindergarten friends don't hit friends side note and all the while while this is going on I'm crying I'm fucking blowing up in hysteria about how no no you don't need to you wanted to do this to me over this me and her are going back and forth trying to see each other's point of view I don't want to hit Stupid ass, dumb ass, little friends. Hey, what's her name? Who is she? Why is she crying? She cute. Can I get her number? You cute, girl. Can I talk to you? Like, boy, if you don't. But I ended up going home, storming off, pissed off. And while I'm storming off, she gonna try to get mad and storm past me. Like, I did something bad to her. All I did was call you a name that you already called me. She storms past me trying to make it home first. I get home, I tell my two older sisters what happened. My older sister is going to sit on the porch. Her and her friend Jess are outside running around the cars playing and both of my sisters just 
L. Ooh. How childish. Bet she won't come do it to me. Being all type of extra trying to get her attention and she didn't want nothing to do with it. They ended up going inside eventually and my parents ended up coming out and yelling at my sisters to get inside. But the next day, because like I said, our parents were really good friends. My dad, as he was leaving to go pick up his morning paper, sees her mom and she decides to ask my dad. She's like, hey, Tio, do we got a problem? Everybody calls my dad Tio, so for future video purposes, my father is named Tio and my daddy a G. I don't know. Do we? Oh no, I just heard about the girls yesterday. I just wanted to make sure everything was okay. Okay. Even though they said they was good, they was not good. Cause this small little fight ended up turning into a fucking whirlwind of a shit show. If you guys want to hear about the time that my parents had seven cop cars and a helicopter out front of their house because of these motherfuckers, you can leave that in the comment section down below and if you guys like this video, please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and please tell me about you guys' very first play in the comment section down below. I want to know if my little chonksters is a little scrappers. But alright you guys, yes, I do hope you enjoyed this video because I, I personally enjoy making this. But alright you guys, I love you guys. So much. Fair wind, young squires. May the odds ever be in your favor, young senpai. And that was all. Till next time. And bye. Bye.